Hello and welcome back to another RV walkthrough. My name is Taylor Quayle. We're here at Padata RV Center in Tucson, Arizona. Today we're looking at a 2019 Keystone Cougar 26 RBE. This is a half ton towable trailer. It has one slide, double axle, and it's a great little RV for the floor plan for what it is. I am a fan. But we're gonna give it a good exterior look, check out the weights, check out the compartments, and then jump inside and see what that has to offer. Now it's a little tight right here. We've been getting a lot of trailers in, so we're kind of having to make it pretty tight when we put them in our lot. But as you can see, you do have an awning here. It does come out quite a bit further with an LED strip under it too. Try to avoid that sun glare. As you can see, dual entry and outdoor kitchen. Ladder up to the roof. And this is a 30 amp power service. You do have power leveling jacks down below right by your plumbing. So let's actually, let's start a little bit different. Let's look at the roof first and then wrap around and check it out. As you can see, slide out right there. Nice crown ceiling for the roof, AC. Does have a wine guard satellite up there too. And then you're awning. Looks really good. And since we checked out the roof, let's just start in the back here. So a spare tire does have a little hitch back there as you can see. What's behind here? Oh, a little TV connections right there. All right. So like I said, 30 amp power service does just wrap right into there. Sanitization flush right above. Gray and black tank poles. Looks like a cable driven slide. Now, a couple of water connections right there. 8,800 pounds loaded. And as you can see, 2380 for your cargo carrying. Nice big storage there. It does have a battery disconnect right in this storage. And should be a light. Now this, usually people put sway bars here. That's what you usually see for that. They actually did a little bit different setup and gave it a little, little tray, a little standing tray. And that's actually something you probably could, you know, actually stand on if you need to change a Cougar sticker or anything like that. Do you have a powered jack? And then a couple of propane tanks under there. And as you can see, two batteries total. LED strip on this front cap. The other side of that big old storage. Solar charger for an exterior panel. Leveling jacks up here. And like I said, it is an electric awning, dual entry. Utility shower, power and TV connections, furnace, fridge, and then of course that outdoor kitchen. You got a little fridge back there too. And also a couple speakers if you do ever hook up a TV, you want to listen to some radio. It does have that climate guard protection. Oh, these are always a pain. There we go. All right, what do we got? Six gallons right there does have the step above right here. This is probably their main entry. And then of course, just the folding stairs for the front for the bedroom. And then they did add these like uh, hanger racks, uh, clothes racks, and it's really just to keep this carpet in place. All right, let's jump inside. So right when you walk in, you have a whole bunch of storage to the left, bathrooms right in front of you. And you do have a kind of a little control panel right here that you can use can't see my finger hold on there we go <laughs> and you can see you have your hvac controls lights slides on and things like that but this is the first look at the floor plan and let me go stand i'll actually just walk to the bedroom and turn around Right, let's start this walkthrough. I'm gonna start it right up front, right by that storage. Check out all that, look in the bathroom, then check out this main galley area. So your entry door storage, two drawers, and then a little wardrobe right there. Nice little coat hanger. And then right after the entry, you do have your bathroom. Very decent sized bathroom for the size of the RV. 
not as much storage, but that's a pretty good one up there. Lots of TP can fit. And a little bit down there. It does have a really good size shower. Just standard corner shower, but for these trailers, I'm happy with it. All right. So then right when you walk out, you come into the main galley area. And you do have some more kind of storage right here. I'm sure they're gonna classify this as a pantry. And you got four of those bad boys. The entertainment center is then right next to that. Three storages above, a nice big, what is that? A 50 inch TV, 46, something like that. Fury on media player. And then you have that little overhead storage as usual. All right, just left of that, you do have your Dometic refrigerator, two door. Propane or electric. And if you are interested. All right, moving on over that new style Furian oven and stove top. With the hood. It's a nice storage right here. And then a decent storage right here. You do also have a little spice rack back there, and then a couple drawers, a few drawers. Very nice. So that's your kitchen. Next up is your bedroom, but before we get that, let's check out this slide. Don't ask me why it's got cork board. I don't know why the previous owner did that. They probably must have put a whole bunch of stuff up there. Help remind them. But your slide is go from the where you, where you see the cork board. It is three foot deep. It does have this nice manual recliner in it with a little storage and cup holders. And then of course your standard dinette, your standard booth dinette. Now there's no lights or anything, but like I said, there is that storage. And then you can see your manual poles right there. Your dinette right here does have a nice LED strip under here, which is cool. Just push this button, turns it off. And then they added a dimmer for all these lights. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta figure out how to make it work. There we go. Very cool, kind of nice. And then you have all these windows in this slide, which is pretty nice. Not super tall, not crazy big, but they are nice and wide. So if you have them all open, parked up next to a lake, it will look really good. Now, of course, this dinette will turn into a sleeper, so technically four can sleep on here on paper. Get you a couple drinks, maybe a couple more on there. Here are my printouts. We are selling this bad boy for $33,995. There are some of your weights, tank sizes, your exact floor plan right there. And then... You may have to pause that. And finally, it's just this one column here for your standard features and options. My gosh. All right. Now, you do have a slider door to separate the bedroom from the main living area if you do want. That, that gun, that looks like a king bed right there. Yes, sir. It's a little bit of storage down there, little cubbies. And then you, of course, have a wardrobe. It's pretty standard storage for a trailer. Same wardrobe on the right side. Some Oh, baby overhead storage right there. And as you can see down below, you do have power hookups and USB on either side of the bed. And then finally, there should be a little bit of under bed storage. All right. Now watch this, it's got a motion light over here. I was wondering why the light turned off. Hey. All right, I'm gonna put the slide in for you, give you an idea what is accessible when that slide is in and what you can use. I will be right back. All right, our slide is in. I am standing at the entry door right next to that control. Still, well, you can even still recline in the seats. Of course, access everything in the kitchen. Now, one thing you do is your walkway to the bedroom, but that slide it is a dual entry. And then of course, complete accessibility to your bathroom.
Now let me get that rest of that closed up so you can see what this thing looks like in travel mode. And this is what she looks like closed up. If you have any questions, all my contact info will be in the description box down below. Well, cell phone number, you're welcome to text me or email me if you do have any questions or want to inquire about buying this unit. Thank you so much for viewing, guys. I hope everyone has a great day.